Welcome to the Process Model Training Series. This is video 4 of 11 basic videos. In this video, you will learn how to lay out the process quickly and how to edit elements of the process. The interface is simple and contains many shortcuts to make you become faster at building models. Start with what flows through your process. These are called entities. Entities are found at the top of the palette. To select a shape, left mouse click and release on the palette. Move the cursor over the layout and notice the cursor changes to the placement mode. Left mouse click to place the shape. While the shape is still selected, type the name of the entity. Go back to the palette and select the activity shape. Remember to left mouse click and release. Move the cursor over the middle of the previously placed entity. Notice the cursor is changed to the automatic connection mode. This allows the creation of the activity shape and the route with the same movement. Hold the mouse key down and drag away from the entity. See the automation? Edit the name of the activity while still selected by just typing. To continue the process capture, there's no need to go back to the palette. Click outside the activity once and the cursor will change to the selector mode. Click a second time and the cursor changes to the placement mode. Position the cursor over the middle of the last activity, hold the mouse key down, and create the next process step. You only need to return to the palette when changing shapes. To connect two activities, create an escape, or assign a resource, click outside the activity so that the cursor changes to the selector mode, or if already in another mode, select the escape key. Move to the middle of the shape, hold the mouse key down and drag away from the shape. As you approach another shape, green dots or connector points will appear. This shows you are making a connection at the destination. To move a shape, change the cursor to the selector mode. Select a shape and move the cursor over the gray hatched area. Notice the cursor changes to the movement mode. Hold the mouse key down and drag the shape to the new location. To move a line, select the line and move the selector cursor over the square at either end of the line. Notice the cursor changes to the draw line mode. Hold the mouse key down and drag the shape to a new graphic. To lock on an edit mode, double click on that item in the toolbox. When finished with that mode, select the finish button. To learn about defining the logic of the flow, view the next video in the training series.